Hi everyone, join me tonight as I take a picture of the jellyfish nebula from my back garden here in Sacramento. Okay, hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Tonight I'm going to be photographing the Jellyfish Nebula, or I'm going to start to photograph the Jellyfish Nebula. It is extremely cold tonight in Sirencester and it is all already very clear, so I can't see a cloud in the sky at all. So I want to quickly pay a line, I want to set up and uh, get collecting some data. It is very cold, like I said, it's going to be about minus three or four tonight, and we're actually expected some snow tomorrow morning, so I'm probably going to pack the scope in um, around one, one o'clock um, so I don't get any uh, snow on the camera and the equipment um, but yeah just want to, to quickly set up um, and start collecting some HA data on the jellyfish nebula tonight so I thought I would take you through my uh, my polar alignment so all I need to do on the ASI Air Pro is just hit hit the play button and what it will do it will, it will detect the stars then it will um, do some plate solving. First thing I need to do is take the lens cap off. That always helps. Okay, so <laughs> take two. Okay, so now I've taken the lens caps off, I can actually start polar alignment. So all I need to do is hit this play button here and the scope will, or the camera will take an image. It's got five seconds exposures um, for, for my uh, polar alignment, which is it seems to work quite well and that took three seconds to plate solve so it detected about 900 stars and it was quite a quick process now I hit next and you should see the mount behind me rotate 60 degrees so hit next mount's going to rotate 60 degrees and then it's going to do exactly the same thing again and then it will work out where it is um, where it's pointing and then all I have to do is line up the the mount with the uh, north celestial pole Okay, so that's the second image done. It's detected uh, about 600 stars this time. All I need to do now is hit let's go and it will tell me that I need to move the mount to the left a little bit and slightly put slightly down. So all I'm going to do now is make the adjustments to the um, Alt-Az um, screws on the, on the mount to, to actually move the mount, not the telescope itself. And then uh, hopefully I should get a good polar alignment. So I'm all done. I've polar aligned as you can see there. Took about, well it took nearly five minutes. So not too bad. Um, so now I'm pretty much set up out here. Now I can just go in and I can run everything from, from indoors. So I'm gonna go in, uh, get warm and start collecting some images. Okay, so it's about midnight, so I've gotta be a bit quiet in the garden, but I've got a bit of a decision to make. I'm about to go to bed, so I need to decide whether or not to take the scope in or leave it out. Now I'm a little bit torn because it is very clear at the moment. I can't see a single cloud and I have a feeling that it's going to uh, stay clear for the next three or four hours probably and I could get quite a few hours of, of good data but half the forecast say that snow is going to hit around four o'clock three o'clock in the morning and the other half say it's not going to hit until about seven eight o'clock um, tomorrow so I could I think I could leave it out and get away with it but I don't want to wake up and realize that my uh, all my gear has been ruined by snow so better to be safe than sorry I think so I'm going to pack up tonight and um, I will have to collect the uh, the O3 and the S2 data another night but it is absolutely freezing out here as you can probably tell um, everything is frozen over already um, so yeah I think I'll probably just pack in and call it a night tonight but I managed to get four hours of HA data on the jellyfish which I'm really happy with um, so hopefully I can collect the uh, the O3 and the S2 um, soon fairly soon it's supposed to be a few hours clear tomorrow so hopefully that holds and i can collect some of them definitely made the right decision about packing in the scope work up this morning it's now just before eight o'clock there's a thick blanket of snow so really glad i didn't leave out shooting all night um 
still really heavy snow at the moment but I did leave the the mount out don't know if you can see that at the bottom of the garden I did leave the mount out because it is supposed to be clear tonight so I thought I wouldn't have to set up and pour a line so <laughs> I'm hoping that that um, barbecue cover I've got over the top of it now holds up I'm hoping that it doesn't get through the barbecue cover I've also got the wires as you can see still left out there they are off the ground and they are covered so hopefully they should be okay okay so a couple of nights later and I'm back out in the garden I've got the scope set back up it was supposed to be clear the uh, the night following all the snowfall but it was still snowing when I went to bed so anyway Monday Monday now just about set it up and uh, just gotta wait for it to get dark as you can see there's still quite a lot of snow in the garden there's still quite a lot of snow around but it is supposed to be clear for about three or four hours tonight so I'm hoping to collect a little bit of uh, S2 data on the jellyfish but anyway it's nice to have a bit of snow Alfie absolutely loves it as you can see he's still out here with me he's just uh, just found a stick so he's just chewing on his stick in the snow but he loves it he's had a great walk great few walks um, so yeah hopefully I can uh, I can get a little bit of data tonight. I don't think I'll get the A3, so I think I'll need another clear night for the A3, maybe one with a little bit less of a moon. But see what I get tonight. Mm -hmm. 